I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this series, we are preparing you for a test. I have taken a question which is very popular for rational functions. Normally, it could be asked in IB Math test. We have extended this question to cover for IIT JE entrance examinations also. So the question here is that the function is given to you, which is 2 minus a x minus 4 over x minus 2a, where a belongs to real numbers between 0 to 2. The figure shows the graph of f of x, the region bounded by the axis, and the asymptotes is shaded with area a. So the shaded area is shown in blue here. Find the value of a to maximize the area. Very interesting question. So, first you need to find lowercase a so that we can maximize area which is represented by uppercase a. This question has been extended with a transformed function. So, the extended part is for the value of a found in part question 1, let g of x equals to f of x minus 3 plus 2. Find area of the rectangle completely bound by asymptotes and the coordinate axis for g of x. So that becomes another very interesting question to work with. So let us understand our strategy to solve this question. Let me also thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, posting excellent comments and some very good questions. But in case you want to learn directly from me, feel free to send an email on the address given, globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Your success could be through us. Thank you and all the best. Now let's look into what is going to be our strategy in this particular question. Well, first is we'll understand horizontal asymptote, vertical asymptote. And then later in the extended part, the transformation, and both the cases we are working on to maximize the area of enclosed region. A very good test question, which we need to now understand how do we solve. So let's begin with the basics. So let's take care of uh, the function, which is 2 minus a times x minus 4. And within the denominator, we have x minus 2a. So here you can see that the asymptotes are given to us. The vertical asymptote is at x equals to 2, right? And the vertical as horizontal asymptote is at y equals to 1. So these values of asymptotes will help us find the value of a also, right? This is for the given diagram. But anyway, we need to find a value of a to maximize the area. How do you maximize the area? So, so the given diagram may not really give you the right solution. Do you understand? So, just don't go with what is given to you, but try to understand the question. It says, find a value of A to maximize the area. Now, area shown in this blue rectangle, you can see, has a vertex at the intersection of horizontal and vertical asymptotes. Let us really work out the horizontal and vertical asymptotes, write an equation, find the value of A systematically and not take up from the diagram itself. Let's analyze this particular question once again. It says f of x is 2 minus A times x minus 4 divided by x minus 2A. That means vertical asymptote should be at which point? It will be at 2a, right? x equals to 2a, right? So let me write x equals to 2a. So from this equation, this vertical asymptote is actually equal to x equals to 2a, right? So don't jump to the diagram and just uh, get the values which are given to you. So let's analyze. So vertical is at x equals to 2a and where will the horizontal be? Well, the horizontal asymptote will be 
at let's rewrite it is the leading coefficients 2 minus a over 1 right so horizontal asymptote is y equals to 2 minus a you get the idea so the horizontal asymptote is 2 minus a perfect once we know these two asymptotes we can actually find the coordinate point right there at the corner of the rectangle right so the x value of this definitely is 2a right and the y value is 2 minus a now we know the area of this rectangle also right so what should be the area of the rectangle let me rewrite area will be length into width and in this case x and y coordinates are 2a and 2 minus a so it will be 2a times 2 minus a makes sense so that becomes the area of the rectangle idea is to maximize it how do we maximize it well it's a parabola you can find the vertex correct so so clearly uh, the vertex has to be right there in the center of the two zeros right so we can see from here that the zeros are at a equals to 0 and a equals to 2 so the vertex or axis will be first let's work on axis will be midway between them right so 0 plus 2 divided by 2 and that does give us 1 correct so we came to 1 not because of the diagram given to us you get the idea but because we have shown all, all our work and that is where you get all the marks right so so for a equals to 1 we have the maximum area right so now we can write down that for a equals to 1 area capital A is maximum. So does it make sense to, to you, right? So let's summarize the approach which we have taken to solve this. So once we are given this particular equation, what we did was that we determined the equation of vertical asymptote and we also found the equation of horizontal asymptote. Once we got those, we got the area and we maximize the area using the concept of quadratic equations correct is that clear to you so that is how we maximize this particular area for a now let's rewrite the function let's say a is now equals to 1 then what is the function equals to right so let's substitute a as 1 2 minus 1 times x minus 4 over x minus 2 times 1 correct so that gives you x minus 4 over x minus 2 so basically for maximum area of this rectangle shaded between the coordinate axis and the asymptotes a value is 1 and the function is x minus 4 over x minus 2 perfect so is that clear to you absolutely now we are going to do the second part of it so i hope so far everything is absolutely clear feel free to send your comments and suggestions in case you really want to learn from me send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com so that is the success path which can help you with our guidance right so let's now look into the extended question extended question was for, for, for the value of a found in part question 1, g of x is equal to f of x minus 3 plus 2. And what we got here was that a equals to 1. And we also, by substituting a as 1, we found that the function f of x is x minus 4 over x minus 2, right? Now the question is, find the area of rectangle completely bound by the asymptotes and the coordinate axis for g of x. So first thing is, you should find what g of x is, right? So you can always pause the video and then find g of x. So g of x is f of x minus 3 plus 2. So in the given expression, you could now write down 
instead of x, write x minus 3, right? That is f of x minus 3. So we get x minus 3 minus 4 over x minus 3 minus 2 and then add 2. Make sense? And simplify this. So we get x minus 7 over x minus 5 plus 2. So that becomes g of x, right? Now, once you have this g of x, we could go further also, right? Simplify it more. Uh, x minus 7 over x minus 5 can also be simplified. So, uh, how will you do it? You could split this into x minus 5 minus 2, right? Over x minus 5 plus 2. Now, that will help us to get the horizontal and the vertical asymptotes clearly, right? You get the idea. So, you can actually continue from here and do the needful, we'll go move on to the next page where we'll say that x minus 5 over x minus 5 is 1 and therefore the horizontal asymptote is 3, right? And the other factor is minus 2 over x minus 5, okay? So let's take it on a new page, right? So once again, we are going to solve for g of x as I was doing earlier. So g of x is f of x minus 3. So we wrote x with x minus 3, right? And then we have minus 4 here, x minus 3 minus 2, right, plus 2, correct, right? which means x minus 7 over x minus 5 plus 2, correct. Right? And uh, now you could rewrite this as x minus 5 minus 2, that is minus 7, right, over x minus 5 plus 2, which is 1 which is x, let me write first x minus 5 over x minus 5 minus 2 over x minus 5 plus 2 and that gives, this is also 1, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2 is 3 and so we get minus 2 over x minus 5 plus 3. You get the idea. So that is g of x for you, correct? So g of x is minus 2 over x minus 5. And clearly, from here, what is going to be the vertical asymptote? Vertical asymptote is x equals to 5, correct? And the horizontal asymptote is y equals to 3. So, you have this coordinate point, which is 5, 3, right? So, so to find the area, what we should do? Rectangle coordinate point here is 3 and 5. So, so area will be 3 times 5, which is going to be 15 units square. Is that clear to you? So, that is how we are going to find the area in this particular case, right? So, I hope you have understood how we extended the question and solved it. Perfect. So, so that's how you should be doing it. Now, here is the solution which we just gave you, right? So, g of x, find g of x as a transformed f of x function where, from where we came to know that the vertical asymptote is x equal to 5 and the horizontal asymptote is y equals to 3 and therefore, this point here is actually 5, 3, correct. That means, from the origin O, we have 5 units by 3 units of rectangle and that gave us the area which is 3 times 5. Perfect. So, that is how we will solve this particular question. So, I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write or comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, be great. And if you want to learn directly from me, send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. We can be part of your success story. Thank you and all the best.